It's August 2018, it's only time for the Head Start Residential and the young people are currently getting the bags packed, getting on that coach, at least they should be. Let's go and find out. So Hello! Hi! Hey, what? Hello! 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 Hi! Hello, yeah. Right. This is Jessie, by the way. Hi! Hello, Jess! Hi! Hi! Hello! Welcome to the Hamilton Centre, we're here on the resi, we're going to go for lunch, let's go eat. So now is the time to get the young people together and to make a group agreement so we all knew what we were doing and to respect each other so we could have the best residential ever, and believe me it was. There was a guy called Murray, he was always in a bit of a hurry. A framework he found, now he is sound, his organisation no longer a worry. Hi, I'm Corey and I'm part of the YPEG group. Hi, I'm Craig and I'm part of the YPEG Hi, I'm Jess and I am from YPEG and the Revolution Researchers. I'm here at the Anderson Centre, unearthing some of the treasures. One of which was Caroline from Boing Boing. She came down to speak to the young people all about social justice and believe me, it was an eye opener. So here you're seeing the power cape. What we're doing is looking at who has the power to make decisions. And at the end of the day, all young people and staff had a hold of that power cape showing how we all share the decisions and designing of services and programmes for young people. I don't think I can jump this. Oof. No, that was no leap of faith, I know, but this is. Check this out. How do you feel about doing the leap of faith? Um, I'm quite excited, actually. Excited, nervous. Um, last year, I was proper scared. So the experience is going to be really challenging. It's going to be really overwhelming for some of them. Um, I'm terrified, but I'm going to do it, don't I? You know, some of them are excited, can't wait to get up there, but some of the young people are going to find it really challenging to even just put a harness on. So we've just had a little chat there about embracing all the opportunities and setting each other individual targets. Took me by surprise at how easy it actually is. Yay! 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 So hopefully, people give it a go and just try the best to really make the most of these opportunities. I felt proud of myself. You, you managed to get the trapeze. It, how, how are you feeling? Buzzing. Ace. I feel very, very good. Uh, these young people here are getting up there, facing the fears. And then if you just like face it, you can overcome it easily. Hey, this is my trusty board, paddle board. All right, it's an ironing board, but just sit tight, come on, give me a bit of slack. No, but seriously, the young people at the resi got the chance to go paddle boarding. It might look like a lot of fun to you, but believe me, these young people overcome some massive fears and some big insecurities just to get on the water itself. A very good experience. It got me in teamwork and I was communicating with my team. The young people were amazing at working together as a team to help each other through their fears. They use some amazing resilient moves on the framework, mainly being brave and leaning on others, and you can tell. So, the Head Start Resi wasn't all fun and games and paddle boarding. There were some really serious messages and some really important stuff that we wanted to get done at the residential. One of the main activities and parts of the day was the top of the tower and life's a beach activity. That was all about finding out what our young people are really proud of about the town as well as looking at some of the challenges young people face in Blackpool. Three positive things about Blackpool, go. The tower. The attractions. 
education, the beach, the resilience, the people. So those are some of the positives about Blackpool, but there are also some really serious challenges that the town faces. They were around tackling bullying, mental health, looking at access to transport, there was stuff around homelessness as well as things around poverty and inequality. Hold on a minute, you might be thinking, why campaign and activism? Well, other than the obvious benefits for the community, you know, if you bring about change, things are going to improve. It's really powerful for the individuals involved. Think about the core principles of resilience therapy, co-production, asset-based, systems change, social justice, young people being involved in that, powerful stuff. So. Out of that lot, the two campaigns that we'll be working on in Head Start Blackpool this year is a campaign around bullying and hopefully developing a charter mark that all schools and organisations can sign up to, as well as a campaign called Same Pay for the Same Day that is looking at informing young people about who sets the minimum wage and their employment rights and hopefully making a change locally to get some more money for young people working hard.